Hey everybody, it's your boy Smith TV, and I got this Battlefield 1 tips and tricks video for you today on the new game mode, Blind Delivery. Now when this shit first came out, I was like, yeah, I'm fucked up, Oh shit, they didn't add the Pidgey Mods to Battlefield, but it's nothing like that, no bullshit. It's an actual game mode, and in this game mode, your objective is to stop the enemy from delivering their messenger pigeons while you attempt to release your own at the same time. So at the beginning of each game or round, there's going to be a box on the ground, which is your pigeon that you have to essentially pick up. Once you pick up the pigeon, the game is going to tell you that you have picked up the pigeon, and then a little meter is going to appear at the top of your screen, which begins to fill. The longer you hold that pigeon, the more the meter fills, and the more teammates you have around you, the faster that meter fills. Now, if you're not carrying the pigeon, you're not the carrier, your objective is to defend the carrier to the last man, the last bullet. Now, the best way to stay alive and keep that meter going is to keep moving. Some people will tell you to stay put to just you know isolate yourself and have a bunch of teammates defend you but that's not the best way to go about it because every three or four seconds the game's going to post your location for the whole entire map to see so keep moving to stay alive now if you tragically fall for whatever reason like i just did your teammates have a chance to pick up that pigeon and continue from where you left off so in my case i died my teammates picked up the pigeon as you can see a little beater over there and they're going to deliver in the message now once they have released the pigeon the enemies have a chance to shoot that fucker out of the sky and if they don't do so and our pigeon delivers its message to our artillery, we get a friendly artillery strike on the map that does some damage. The enemies have the same chance as you do though, so if the enemy releases their pigeon, you also have a chance to shoot it down from the moment they launch it until it gets up in the air. And if you fail to shoot it down, then the enemy has their own artillery come down and rain down some hell on the map. Now, this game mode is 3 rounds per game, and there's only pistols and explosives. Now if you don't like the explosives and the pistols aspect, there are several different ways to get around that. So there are in places all around the map that you can go ahead and use to lay down the enemy and protect your carrier to the last man. If you don't like the emplacements and the enemy's using them to fuck you up, you can go ahead and destroy those with dynamite or whatever you got. And if you don't like any of that shit, there are several different ways you can go ahead and get access to primary weapons through other game modes, hardcore and core, made up by EA, so you can go have, have some fun if that's what you're into. Now I personally recommend that you go ahead and use the pistols and explosives because it changes the whole layout of Battlefield 1. So there's no sniping, there's no support classes, there's none of that bullshit. All your abilities as that as a certain class are still available, but it's just pistols and explosives and I love that part of the game. So that's all I got for you today boys and girls. If you heed my advice, you will win every game and you will be victorious. Peace, Smitty out. Don't forget to show some love with a sub. <laughs>